Yo, 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 what is up, guys? The draft is finally over. So first of all, I'm not going to make a video about this, but let's go ahead and look at James Smith Williams. So let's look at his draft profile. What is up, everybody? What is up? How are you guys doing? You happy with the draft or no? Uh, okay, we're going to wait for some people to get in here, and then we will go ahead and start um, start just talking about um, James uh, Smith-Williams. So, what is up, everybody? You happy with the draft? Sorry. Sorry about that. I'm trying to read the comments on my other device. So, yeah, give me your grades. Okay, Dave Moore, what's up, Dave Moore? B, okay. Here's the thing. I have two different grades, right? Because if you're going to put into consideration that we took Chase Young, which we did, I'm giving it an A-. minus. But if you're just going value off of rounds 3 through 7, I would probably give it a B, B-. minus. So that's kind of my thing. Okay, uh, Derek Manning, this is who he is. James Smith Williams, um, North Carolina State. I'm going to leave this up here for a bit. Um, but yeah, 26 people in here. The Andy, the last picks, I mean, the thing with me is I think the last pick, no, I think the last pick wasn't a great pick just because we already got a bunch of edge players, including including Brailford. But I liked the Kaliki Hudson pick. The safe, the center pick was okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to be talking about my grades for the, players that we got and starting with James Smith Williams if you want to look at right here um they his he didn't even have a projection um so this is his strengths and weaknesses I'm just typing something in on my community post to let everyone know I'm live um but yeah the last pick kind of confuses me maybe they see some really good um potential in him um that's what I'm thinking because we already got Brailford and uh, Kerrigan and Anderson as depth guys. So I really don't understand this pick. I think it could. We'll see. I don't. I, I doubt he makes the roster, at least for now. We'll see. But that's just my opinion. Um, what is up? What is up, everybody? 56 people in here. Okay, what's up? Yeah, the last uh, the last guy really was the one that I had a problem with. Guys, trust me. Everyone who's saying um is it glitchy? Um everyone who's saying that we had a bad draft, trust me. This is not a bad draft. Uh the grade I would give it, I'm not going to give it a certain grade yet. I'm definitely I mean any draft with Chase Young, I'm going to I'm going to give at least a B plus and we got some good quality guys in there too. So I'm going to give it a little higher. Like if you think about it, we got Sadiq Charles who if we coach him right can be an above average tackle in this league. Yo, Armin Brown, thank you so much for the super chat. Huge shout out to Armin. Thank you for the $10 dono. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. But again, huge shout out to Armin Brown. Thank you for the $10. It really helps out. But Thank you so much. But there's a lot of value picks that I like. I really, obviously, Chase Young. I like Antonio Gibson. I'm still kind of trying to figure him out a little more. And then I love Sadiq Charles in the third round. Same with Antonio Gandy-Golden. at Or in the fourth round, sorry. Antonio Gandy-Golden was a steal. Our fifth round picks are eh, you know. Uh, Kaliki Hudson, I would give. A lot of people actually like Bleacher Report and CBS. They gave uh, us like a B plus, A minus for that pick. And they gave us a B minus for the center. Uh, and then the last couple, I don't know. The last couple picks were kind of ant picks. And there's got to be something. Again, thank you, Armin. Again, there's got to be something wrong with uh, Thaddeus Moss and Hunter Bryant. Because Hunter Bryant was a second round uh, talent. A lot of people had him going from the second to third round close. What the coaches saw in Bryce Hall in his injury concerns. Okay, I think I think it's back up. Okay, my stream's back up. But they know, yeah, Beast Mode, they know something we don't, something's wrong, something, um, 
Bryce Hall had something went wrong with that. I think uh, some injury concerns, maybe um, some character issues. I think that's why he went down. I like Cameron Curl. I think he's a good player. Uh, there's some other few other players that I like that we drafted. Obviously, the, f- the only problem, the only pick I had a problem with was the center we picked just because uh, we picked him when we could have gone Bryce Hall and other corners. But guys, there's so many corners. There's so many corners that are available right now. And honestly, guys, I think that we might even trade for OJ Howard. So let me know what you guys think about that. Um, I would, I'm not going to give an initial grade. I just want to see what the Redskins fans give the draft. So a lot of people said B. I think it's not B to A range. I'm not going to give a specific grade yet because I want to um, research a little more. Uh, Bryce Hall is the only one I really wanted. And I also kind of wanted, sorry, Josh Jones. I wanted Josh Jones instead of Antonio Gibson. But I do like... Uh, I do really like Antonio Gibson, and I think he can be a huge, huge weapon for us in the future. Let me know what you guys think about him. So the play, I'm trying to get a list of all the players we drafted. Uh, okay, this is the draft class right here. So if I, I'm gonna give some uh, early predict or early grades. Again, thank you so much, Armin, for the donation. It helps out a lot. If I'm giving some early grades, Chase Young, A plus 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 such a great pick obviously it was an easy pick to make but a really good grade Antonio Gibson I'm not going to give a grade for him because I'm still trying to figure him out he can play wide receiver let's go we got a hundred people in here guys if you guys are new subscribe uh like the video share if you can donate if you can anything's appreciated but Antonio Gibson I like him as a uh I if if he's a wide receiver what's up Wangadi huge shout out to Wangadi if we got a receipt. If he's a receiver, I'm giving that like a B plus to A minus grade. If he's a running back, it's like a B B minus grade. But honestly, I think he's going to be a mix of both, which I kind of like. We'll see how that plays out for Bryce Love, Peyton Barber, and those other guys. And then you look at Sadiq Charles. I saw a couple uh, sites having him us at a C for that one. I saw a couple have us at a B plus. And I think that's mostly because of character issues, but I think Ron, Ron Rivera has had a history of turning guys around like this, and I think I think Sadiq Charles can be an above-average tackle in this league, and getting that in the fourth round is a steal. I think that's anywhere from a B to A minus grade. Antonio, sorry, Antonio Gandy Golden, um, I'm giving that an A plus plus again, great value, and. Uh, you got a the perfect receiver for a system because he's a big guy. He didn't play in the best competition, but when he did play in uh, the Senior Bowl, he played good, and that was against good competition. So I think that is an A plus plus grade. Keith Ismail, I would I don't know. I really this is the pick. I really think we should have gotten uh gone for uh I really think we should have gone for uh Bryce Hall here. That's what I really would have liked here. Maybe a tight end like Bryson Hopkins. Uh, I like depth at the line. Maybe even Prince Tega right here. That's what I would have really liked. Maybe Alex Taylor. I like Kaliki Hudson. I think he can be a special teams player off the bat who has a great impact. And I think also he can uh, maybe potentially start, or not start, but play a bit in the defensive end. He plays linebacker slash safety. That's a B-plus grade for me. Same with Cameron Curl. We'll see about that. James Smith Williams, I'll give that a C minus grade. Uh, Peyton the Great Hall wasn't off the board for the Keith Ismail grade. He was off the board once we got to Kaliki Hudson with our second fifth round pick. What's up, Kurt? Uh, and we got a lot of people in here. But James Smith Williams, that's the only grade I really didn't like, and that's like a C minus. Um, but again, guys. We can't say, oh, this is a horrible draft. The Redskins have no idea what they are doing because they spent five, six months scouting these guys for so long. This has been all they've been doing for the last few months, scouting these guys. And they know so much more than we do um, when it comes to these guys. What's up, Thanos? What's up, LC? Yeah, Cameron Curl is good. I think he can compete with Sean Davis 
I mean, even though Sean Davis is free safety, I like, I think Kaliki Hudson's going to play a little bit of linebacker, a little bit of safety. Uh, you guys want, I think I'm going to talk more about Antonio Gibson. Uh, and then I'll go after a few players we can go after in the, in the undrafted free agency pool. I'm very surprised KJ Hill went undrafted. A lot of people projecting him in the, in the fourth round. Yeah, everyone right now, give me your grades for the Redskins draft in the chat below. Just give it, just let me know. Yeah, I think we'll see. Ronner, I'm kind of scared about the tight end position, but it seems like, yeah, Thanos, the uh, average killer, he plays corner too. It seems like Ron Rivera is comfortable with the tight ends we have on the board. I don't know why. Sorry. I don't know why. Logan Thomas, I think, can end up being decent maybe a 400 500 yard receiver um but the my favorite picks besides chase young obviously is Ant antonio gandy golden uh sadiq charles okay we got a b plus a minus a minus b minus c um i'm trying to see if there's okay it's it's, it's back it's back i think it's back guys um, but I'm talking guys, let me know if it's back. Um, let me know if it's back. Uh, Sadiq Charles. Okay, we got, back. it's back. I think it's back. Okay, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're going to go on. What's up, Skins Fan All Day? Huge shout out to Skins Fan All Day. Go check out his channel. Uh, great Redskins YouTuber. Okay, it's back. Let's go. Okay, so going on. The tight end group sucked, obviously, like like I agree, LC. Um, but we'll see about Hunter Bryant. I think he's more of a wide receiver, and if we can get him in the seventh round, I would really like that. Uh, Sadiq Charles is a huge deal, in my opinion. I really think he could have gotten the second or first round, late first round, if it wasn't for character issues. That's my opinion. Uh, I'm not going to speak for James Smith uh, Williams because I really haven't watched many much of his film and same goes for uh, Keith Ismael I really uh, haven't watched much of their film so we'll see about them before I give any grade on them because uh, I haven't watched much of them but I love Antonio Gibson the only problem I have with it is why I might bring the grade down is because of his, he doesn't have a specific position, which kind of sucks. Like, I hope he can play. I'd rather him play wide receiver. Yeah, I hope we get uh, OJ. I hope he plays wide receiver, but I have a feeling he's going to play running back. Um, a Redskins source said he's probably going to play running. They view him as a running back, so we'll see. I think he was a good pick overall. And let's let's look at a little more at Antonio Gandy Golden. I really really liked um, Antonio Gandy Golden. If you look at his stats real quick, uh, Chris, you know we do not have another pick. We do not have another pick, but there are a few more. There's we're gonna get some players in undrafted free agency. So we'll see. I don't think it's gonna be a lot though because we have a lot we drafted a lot of players and we had a bunch of players pick or we already had a bunch of people sign in free agency so probably a couple like let's say five undrafted free agents probably a little more we'll cut a bunch though so look at his stats last year 13 games played 79 catches 1396 yards 17 yards per catch 10 touchdowns really really good player i think he's probably one of my um one of my favorite picks in 2018, he had a lot of drops, but he kind of fixed that up in 2019. Yeah, AGG dude, uh, LC, he, man, his, he, he can catch. He's doing this, this is really annoying. Okay, it's back finally. If it happens again, guys, I'm going to have to leave. My internet usually does not do this. It's never been a problem streaming for me before. So uh, hopefully it's good for, um, it keeps going for the rest of the time because it's never done this for me before. Uh, but I think we're back. I think we're back. Yo, what's up, James? Okay, it looks like it's back. We'll we'll stream for a little more. Um, 
Yeah. I honestly think, guys, that O.J. Howard, we might trade for him. And if we can get him for that 49ers third round pick, I would really like that because their third round pick, let's keep it real, guys, it's going to be a late third round pick. A late third round pick last next year because they did a lot of good things this offseason or at least a couple good things. Got Trent Williams and a few others. So at worst, they're going to get like the 25th, 23rd pick. So I think we should trade that. Uh, Neon, I definitely think we should have taken a cornerback. Um, we should have probably AJ Green. Dayum, I don't know, man. My This is the first time. This is the first time my internet's gone down in the stream, and I've been streaming for like the last month, like twice a week. I don't know though. Hopefully, it doesn't go down again. Uh, yeah, our cornerbacks. I I'm not too psyched about our cornerback room. Um, I think. I don't know. I really think we should sign an undrafted free agent. There's a lot of high graded free agents that didn't get picked up or high-graded uh, cornerbacks, and some good free agents, too, uh, including Denard. Yeah, we'll... S I don't know, man. Our cornerbacks, especially with the Eagles having a good secondary now, and same um, with the... And same with the Cowboys. They have good receiving core now, so that's what I'm worried about. Okay, this is the last time. If it if it doesn't come back after this, I'm gonna be, I'm I'm gonna, um, come back. I'm not gonna come back. But yeah, D line man, our D line definitely top. I would say, you start the year off top seven, top eight ish. Top seven, top eight ish, and then it has the potential to be top three in my opinion. Uh, our linebackers, LC, I'm not. I'm not happy about our linebackers, but I'm also not mad about it just because they got our linebackers. We got uh, Cole Holcomb, who played really good last year as a rookie, has to get better in coverage. But besides that, I really like him. And then uh, Thomas Davis, established veteran who can play for us too. I'm fine with the linebacking core. Yes, it could be a little better, and I think it will be better if Ruben Foster comes back. That is a big if, but if he comes back, I think it's going to be fine. Um, our safeties, I'm fine with our safeties. Like if I would have, if I would grade each position on the uh, F through A scale, I would grade our D line, D line slash uh, edge rushers um, A plus. I would give it an A plus. Uh, linebackers, if you're including, I'm not going to include players like Ryan Anderson and uh, Sweat and Kerrigan, even though they're considered out outside linebackers. My middle linebackers and inside linebackers, probably going to give that a B. I would give that a B grade. Give our, our secondary, our cornerbacks, probably a C. C to C minus. And then uh, give our second our safeties. Sorry, uh, safeties probably a B B minus. I I'm not I'm not extremely happy with our secondary, but I think if we can get Darquis Denard from the who played with the Bengals last year, I think that could bring our secondary up to a B. You got Ronald Darby, who's eh. You got Kendall Fuller, who's a good can play. He's very versatile. Fabian Rowe, we'll see. Uh, the only position I'm worried about on the defense is the cornerbacks. Everything else is at least average, in my opinion, uh, with our D-line being above average. And if you think about it, uh, what's up, Leon? LC, if you think about it, our secondary is going to be better just because of how good our D-line is going to be next year. So I think it's going to help out. Yo, Andre, thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the donation. First four picks were great for me. The next four picks, the rookie free agent class, wow. Average C, maybe. Um, Andre, I thanks for the donation again. I would give it a little higher than that because you kind of got to wait the first four picks, obviously, high, more. You got to wait it more than the last four picks because a lot of the drafts, especially when you got like eight or nine players that we drafted, 
like we did this year. There's like one or two players that don't even make the team. So I would give it definitely above a B minus just because uh just because Chase Young for me on honestly as a talent as a talent automatic B plus draft in my opinion just because um He's just the best player in the draft. But if you're going to go uh, off of talent, then it's probably a little less, obviously. Uh, no, not talent. Off of va- uh, value where we drafted, then it's a little less. But I like our four, first four picks, like you said. I don't... The only picks I don't like is... It's going to go black for a bit. Okay. The only picks I don't like are James Smith-Williams, but I do have to watch his film to really say that for sure. And then I don't like... Keith Ismael. The uh, these two picks I'm fine with. Man, William, I I was scratching my head a little bit too why we didn't draft a tight end when you got Hunter Bryant there and Thaddeus Moss in that last pick. But after we passed up on him, after we got Kaliki Hudson, I really didn't think we we're gonna get. Um, I didn't really think we we're gonna get a tight end, and I think it's because the tight end class this year already was gonna be bad. That's what they said, and. Wait, what did it say? So I just had a curiosity. Who actually gets the players we drafted? Um, I the only players that I mean, I did a lot of mock drafts here. The only players that I had us drafting, like consistently, was Chase Young, Sadiq Charles, and I had Antonio Gandy Golden in the mix. Um, a couple like every other time or every uh few times, and Antonio Gibson once. But guys, there's still a lot of solid receive or not receivers offensive tackles available you got uh alex taylor i believe is still available you got a few others so i as much as just guys before you give us a bat if when you're grading us and you're disappointed about the draft before you give us a c c minus b minus just think about that chase young is like if like when you're at school when you're in school like they kind of weight like test and homework a little differently, right? Like tests are like 60%, quizzes are like 30%, and uh, what's it called? Homework's 10%. That's how I would kind of weight it. Like weight this Chase Young pick probably around 50 to 60, like 40% of the draft right there. And then these next three picks right here, it's probably upwards of 75% of the draft. And then these guys are that homework grade. If it works out, It'll help you out a lot, but it's not a big deal if it doesn't. That's kind of my comparison. I don't think the last four picks, yes, we could have gotten some good starters out of that. Yo, Abu, thank you for the donation. I appreciate the $5 donation. Thank you so much. It helps out a lot. Let's hope that is Moss and Hunter Bryant be free agents and come to us. Um, yeah, man, I think I think one of them might get signed. We'll see, though. I think a lot of people will try to get them. And it'll be who offers them the mo- the best uh, package. I guess the Redskins knew that they weren't they were gonna go to free agency, so that's why they passed up on him. But yeah, LC said you don't get early second round people in the fourth round. Yo, y'all sleeping on that pick? Exactly, man. Again, thank you for the donation, man. Yeah, William, we can get those two. I hope we do. I just have a feeling that we won't. I what I would be happy with us doing though is drafting or not drafting is trading for OJ Howard. That's me. I think that would be good. Um, Chuck Schartz. Um, I think he's gonna do a little bit of everything. I I um uh, I think he's gonna uh, thank you Abu. Um, I think he's gonna be doing a lot of everything. I think he's gonna play in the slot, maybe on the outside a bit. I think he's gonna play a lot of running back. Uh, do some kick return and um. Do some kick return and punt returns. Yeah, I think Gibson will mainly be running back, but I definitely think, like, I think, like, at least 30% of his snaps will be, um, I or 20% of his snaps will be lined up in the receiving position, but I think, like, maybe 45% of his snaps total will be catches. It might still be out of the backfield, but I think he's going to get a lot of catches out, uh, outside I'm 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 happy with that. I still think tight end is a need, like all you guys said. But we did fill the offensive tackle need. We, I mean, somewhat, right? We got someone who can start at left tackle right away. Um, and then our other needs were, you kind of got um, tight end. We didn't fill that. 
which is kind of upset. Um, I don't know, Paul. I think they're both going to make the roster, but there might be a, a battle between McKissick. Uh, what was I gonna? What was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, the holes. Um, Sadiq Charles can fill that hole. Cornerback, uh, we didn't really fill that hole, but we did get a lot of a couple of safeties that can help out there. And the wide receiver, we definitely fill that hole. OJ Howard is gone if we if we get him or not. So he is definitely available. Yeah, I would love OJ Howard, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. This this draft, it was underwhelming at the end, but I wouldn't take that. At, like I would take that for a grain of salt. I would mostly look at the top four picks and really look at that, appreciate that. That's what I really like. I like the first four picks. That's kind of like your, it's weighted a lot more than the last couple picks. Just think about it like that. I think the only pick I really wish we would have gotten for someone else is Bryce Hall. I really wish we could have gotten Bryce Hall at this pick right here. I think he would have been a stud. But besides that, I have no really problems, uh, really no problems with the picks besides James Smith Williams, but I have not watched any film from him. So let's see about that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Just again, I would weight it a lot. Like, uh, Chase Young is like 40% of it, our draft. Like he, he's going to get, he's like, if you think about it, if I tell you, you got a pro bowl, all pro player in a draft, you would give it an A. You would give that an A draft. So um, you give that an A draft. So that's what we pretty much got, at least a Pro Bowl player, in my opinion, with Chase Young. And then you got an added bonus. So I don't think this is a, a – I think at lowest it's a B draft, but I really think it's a little higher than that, in my opinion. I think it's anywhere from B plus to that A range. Yes, you can say the last four picks weren't good, which I agree with um, – I really don't like uh, James Smith Williams, at least the position there. I don't like us drafting a D end. I think um, a tight end would have been better. And then uh, also, I don't like Keith Ismail. Those are the only two picks I really don't like. I just I'm it 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 baffles me that we didn't draft a single tight end. So I guess Ron really didn't like any of the tight ends. Maybe uh, Christina Smith. I will definitely make videos for every single undrafted free agent we get especially if they are known if it's someone that no one I mean especially if it's Hunter Bryant or uh, Moss or any of these guys um but I, a tight end they just didn't go after at all and I think if Troutman was available there at that 108 pick then maybe okay Mark Kipton let's see your grades Chase Young A Antonio Gibson a C um Charles A minus AGG A pick all others were C or less um, I somewhat agree with you. I think Antonio Gibson was slightly a reach, but a lot of these executives are saying that they're, he's really good at, I mean, like Lewis Riddick was saying, he's, he's a steal of a pick. And I think so too. And after watching some film, I like him. I wouldn't give it a C pick. It really depends on how we use him. So that's why I'm not grading that pick really, because I really don't know how we're going to use him. So even with you giving those grades, um, Mark, like that, in my opinion, is a B plus draft. What you just gave us, like your grades, because yes, the all other picks were bad grades, but those picks, fifth round picks, barely ever make the team, or not barely ever make the team, but they barely ever make an impact fifth, seventh round picks. Sometimes they do. Sometimes you find hidden gems like Tom Brady, uh, a lot of other players, Cole Holcomb. Cole Holcomb. No one really liked that pick last year, guys. But what did he end? He ended up being a really ended up being a really good player for us. Chuck Shard said, Pedro, who do you think will be the starters on offense, skill position wise? So, uh, in the beginning, I think it's gonna be uh, AP and guys are gonna split carries for the beginning. That's what I think. Um, at wide receiver, I think who's gonna start? You got. Terry McLaurin, Steven Sims, AGG. That's my starters right there. Tight end, if nothing, if nothing changes, I think uh, tight end is Logan Thomas. And then quarterback, Haskins. Unless there is no training camp, then maybe there's a small, small chance that it's Kyle Allen, but I really doubt it. Exactly. Considering no second round pick, it's a pretty good draft. Mark Kipton, I do agree with you. Um, 
Yeah, go check out Big Simple. Great channel. Um, Elsie, that's what I'm trying to tell people. Like, fifth to seventh round player, you'll get lucky if you get... You'll get extremely lucky if in five picks in the fifth through seventh round, you get a starter, uh, a decent... A starter on a uh, above average team. So that's my thing. I think these first four picks... We're all above average picks, in my opinion. Maybe you could argue Antonio Gibson wasn't, but watch the tape, man. He was a killer at Memphis. Cameron Curl is okay. James Smith um, Williams is the only pick that I really like. Am kind of like, why did we do that? Because you already got Brailford, who we picked last year in the seventh round, who didn't play at all. You got Brantley, you got um, Anderson, Kerrigan, all these guys that might start. Um, Armin Brown said, honestly, I think Peyton Barber, I like the Peyton Barber pickup. We hope Chase is a future uh, perennial Pro Bowl. Exactly. Yeah, we also got Montez Sweat from that second round pick pretty much. But before, I, I was trying to repeat this again, before you get these uh, grades, you give out these grades of anything below a B, we got the best player in the draft. We got the best player in the draft. So don't don't complain about that. We got the best player in the draft. And we got a couple weapons for Haskins that, especially in Antonio Gandy Golden, who probably uh, was picked lower than he should have been. And Sadiq Charles, you got someone who can protect him. So um Mark Kipton, we did not pass on Christian Fulton. He got drafted a few picks before us. If he would have been there, I think we would have picked him. But Mark Kipton, you got to think about this. Every single team in the league passed on Bryce Hall until the fifth round where the Jets, where the Jets got him. Okay, like there, There's a reason why they, they teams passed on uh, KJ Hill, Hunter Bryant. Thaddeus Moss, Bryce Hall. Uh, I don't think, unless someone blows him out of the water with a deal, I don't think Curtis Samuel is going to get traded. Um, no, Brian, uh, AGG does not run under a 4-4. Yeah, Bryce Hall would have been a steal, I think, but there's something going on there that we don't know, in my opinion, and I think maybe he has his injury isn't, he's not recovering as well as we thought. Uh... And there's probably some other factors in there. But a lot of these guys, a lot of these teams uh, pass on players for a reason. So I am absolutely fine with our draft. I'm going to give it a grade an, uh, grade afterwards. Um, I'm going to give a grade afterwards, uh, actual grade. But it's above a B for me. That's that's me. Um yeah, Casey, that, that pick is the really one that is below a C for me. Um, these last few picks, it's kind of like... We could have done better, Mark Kipton, but I don't know. I think you guys are like taking these last few picks way too seriously. Um, because I, I think the, the first three picks are the most important picks... Um, your first, second, and third round pick, we didn't have that. We had a, f a first, uh, early third, and an early fourth. That's what I would look at. That's what I would look at. Maybe look, and then maybe you can go a little after that, but the last couple players usually are never go going to uh, contribute. Uh, let's look at the Redskins draft history, okay? Let's look at the Redskins draft history, and I want to show you guys. Let's see. All the fifth round players, exact, exactly infinite. That's what I'm saying. Um, let's look at all the first. Oh, they don't have. Okay, I'm trying to look at the Redskins draft history. Um, here it is. Uh, Matthew G. I think our division overall had a pretty good draft. I think the Eagles had the worst draft because they got Jalen Hurts. And they drafted, uh, they drafted uh, Jalen Rieger, which I thought it was a little bit of a stretch. But let's look a little earlier. Um, so from 2013, right? 
2013 and later. Um, the Ryan Grant is still in the NFL, but Ryan Grant did not do much in the league at all. He, did, he was an okay role player for us for a few um, a few years, but after that, he really kind of fell off. Chris Thompson was a steal. And then let's go into 2015's fifth-round picks. Uh, none of those guys panned out. None of those guys were good at all. Uh, Mar- uh, Martel Sprite was eh. He was okay. But really, nothing too special. Now let's go to 2016. Um, fifth round, Matthew at Ioannidis. That was a steal of a pick. That was an amazing pick. And we got lucky on that one, and we got a good pick. The rest of the players are not in the league, and Nate Suf- uh, Sudfield is a third-string quarterback in the league. So um, then you go to 2017. Now most of these players are going to still be in the league, but uh, Joshua Holsey, nothing, absolutely nothing um, in this. He didn't do anything in the NFL. Josh Harvey Clemens really hasn't done much either. Um, Big Nick, I don't know. I think it's going to be between us and the Giants. I don't know. I think... I think, I don't know, wait, wait, real quick, Mark Kipton, yeah, New York had a mess draft, so did Philly, though, they didn't have, they they did add uh, Marquise Goodwin, but I think we're going to battle, I think we can go anywhere from five to eight wins, the only reason I say eight is if Haskins plays good, if Haskins plays good, it's going to bring our whole team uh better and I think our defense is going to be an above average defense this year so I think it's going to be a battle between us and the Giants uh, for last place in the division but okay now let's and then Robert Davis did I don't think he made the roster once for us or this year he made the roster for a bit but then he got cut after like week two he only played seven games in the NFL Chase Roulier was a good pick sixth round pick that was a good pick uh played is still playing good sprinkle not a good pick at all I mean, he's produced a bit, but he's had 295 yards in the NFL in three years. So, not good, in my opinion. Then you go 2018. All these players are in the NFL right now, obviously, but we just drafted them, so they should be. You look at Trey Quinn, good pick at seventh round, but hasn't done much at all. Uh, Greg Stroman didn't. Yo, Infinite, thank you so much for the $5 donation. Um, if we wait, the first picks are 80% of the grade, then A-. minus. Exactly. Chase Young is the best player in the draft. We got him. Just, that's that's it. That's it. Thank you so much. Um, th- again, thank you for the donation. It helps out a ton. Uh, Greg Stroman didn't play. Sean Dion Hamilton is was a decent pick, but he still hasn't panned out that great. He's been a little injury prone and still hasn't played great. Uh, Tim Settle was a decent pick. A good depth guy, but still only has two career sacks. And then last year, um, Jordan Brailford didn't play at all. Jimmy Moreland played, I mean, was uh, he played uh, good, decent for a rookie, but overall didn't play that good. Um, Harmon played decent for a rookie, and Cole Holcomb was good. Ross Pierce Baker, Ross Pierce Baker wasn't. Um, if we have a bad season next season, assuming Fields and Lawrence are one and two, um, right now, I'd rather have. Um, I would definitely rather have Trevor Lawrence and uh, Justin Fields. I think he's the more pro quarterback, pro ready quarterback, and I think he's the more pro to tick. Uh, the more pro to tick. Uh, sorry, uh, he's the better quarterback, more NFL ready quarterback, and I think that he's probably going to be the number one pick. Uh, I, yeah, I think he's going to be the number one pick. And I don't know if we're going to be able to get that. I would be fine with Justin Fields too. But like, I'm just showing you guys like really the seventh round, uh, fifth through seventh round does matter. You can get some steals there. What's up, Envy? You can get some steals there. But really, it's not something to get worried about. Oh, we didn't get this. Oh, we didn't get that. Mark Hilton, after Chase Young, we lost Trent Williams and uh, filled that slot with Sadiq Charles. Uh, Antonio Gibson is going to be our third on our depth chart behind AP and guys. AGG might be see the field um, for Harmon. I mean, yeah, but Charles, I think, yes, Trent went. I mean, the Trent Williams situation though, he that's been on for a while. I wouldn't take like use that to grade it this grade this draft. Uh, Sadiq Charles, I think he has the potential to be a solid 
tackle in this league if the coaches keep him off uh, without any off-the-field issues. We'll see, though. I mean, I think... And seriously, guys, we have no idea. We have no idea how these players are going to turn out. I remember everyone last year wanted uh, Hakeem Butler, uh, Tom Thompson, the safety, Deontay Thompson, um, and a couple others uh, before Holcomb and Mac Wilson. We wanted Mac Wilson. And then everyone was so mad that we drafted Cole Holcomb and these other guys. And Cole Holcomb ended up being a solid guy. Like, you don't know what these guys are going to bring to the table. It's You have no idea at all. That's, um, yeah, Kurt, I think that that's what it was. And that's good for, I mean, it's obviously not a good thing to have uh, the problem for. But it's not going to be a problem in the NFL. Because, or at least uh, for a bit because of the CBA. Yeah, but Mark Kipton, someone compared Antonio Gibson to, he was like, uh, DK Metcalf, that's also a running back. So we'll see. Antonio Gibson is, I think he's going to be a stud if we use him right. That's why I'm giving an incomplete grade for that because I don't know how he's going to be used. Um, exactly, Mark Kipton. But what do you, here, guys, what do you think, um, do you think that eventually we're going to have to trade one of the Alabama boys or um, one of the Alabama boys or the Matt Ionetis? Because next year, one of those guys is going to be coming off the bench. And also, they, they're going to have a lot of contracts coming up. Right now, I wouldn't do that, but it's something to think about. Cole Holcomb was a good rookie last year. He's one of the best linebacking rookies besides Devin White and Bush, but that's what I'm uh, saying. You can't, yes, a lot of these picks at the end weren't great, but you you have no idea how they're going to turn out. You have no idea how they're going to turn out. I'm going to look at, let's see some grades for the Redskins, um, uh, for the Redskins draft. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I want to go to, I don't not like CBS at all. They're, they they always um, are biased against the Redskins, in my opinion. But let's see what each, so this is only rounds one through three. Let's see what they gave Antonio Gibson. Um, let's see what they gave Antonio Gibson. I, I can't remember. I saw this. Um, so they gave it a B. That's, that's I think it's a B. B, B minus, uh, B to B plus slash B minus potential of an A plus. He has really good potential. I think that's a underrated pick. Uh, there's no more. Okay, that's only the third round, but that's a B. Um, I want to see. Um, Let's see if there's any. Okay, I think this might. Okay, this is this is a bleach report right here. Yeah, I don't. I think we're gonna eventually have to trade one of them, just like the the uh, San Francisco 49ers did last year with DeForest Buckner. Wait, yeah, or did they trade Buckner or Armstead? I'm not sure. Sorry about this, but let's go to, I don't think they gave, um, so they didn't, they didn't give Sadiq Charles a good grade. I think it was like a C plus a or B minus, but I saw some other people give him a B plus Matt Miller of Bleach Report gave him a B plus. Let's look at AGG, his pick, his grade. So AGG was an A. I like that. Um, yeah, I think that's good. I love that pick. Uh, Gandy Golden was this year's des designated small receiver for everyone to fall in love at, with, uh, with at the Senior Bowl. Most of these mid-January crushes are simply because they're uh, for a small program receiver debut makes a special. I watched Andy 
Isabella practiced for a solid week and you didn't. And because weird small program helmets are easy to spot when a receiver does something impressive in a one-on-one -on -one drill. But Gandy Golden was different. He routinely muscled through major program cornerbacks. So I like him. I think that's a good pick. Let's go to our uh, first pick in the fifth round. If you look at it, we got a pretty bad grade for this one, I think. A C-plus isn't terrible, though, as a fifth-round pick. He's a standard issue zone-blocking interior lineman, uh, quick-footed, effective when moving laterally, and alert and willing to deliver an extra thud at the whistle. I like him. He's a good character guy, too. Yeah, exactly, Armand. Secondary is going to be fine. And then if you look at 162, they gave this a, a B-plus, too. So let's let's read it a bit more. Read into it a bit more. Um, Hudson blocked five punts in his college career, and he said at the combine that team spoke to him about special teams in interviews. He's going to be a good special teams guy, like I said. Um, he's going to play in punts and field goals. Hudson was a hybrid safety linebacker for the Wolverines, but he lacks the pure speed and technique to cover tight ends or slot receivers at the NFL. Still, he's alert, taking good angles. Um, Hudson should be able to handle any linebacker position as an adequate starter or top back. That's, that's good. Um, yeah, Mark Kipton, I would have rather have Josh Jones too. I would have taken Josh Jones over, um, Antonio Gibson, but I think Sadiq Charles is going to be good. So yeah, Hudson should be able to hand, uh, that plus the special teams chops could, uh, Keep him in the NFL for the decade. The Skins are quietly putting together a very solid draft class. See, look at that. Redskins are getting a solid draft. That's what they said. Okay, our next pick wasn't until the seventh round, um, 216. Again, guys, thank you guys for all the support. If you guys are new, subscribe. I post Redskins content every day. Uh, uh, subscribing, liking, uh, anything helps. Thank you guys for the donations. You guys that donated, it helps out a ton. I'm trying to get a new mic still. Yeah, Moss still ain't drafted. I, I really want him, but anything's appreciated. So let's look at um, 214, which we drafted. We got a safety. Or no, 216. Wait, did I miss a guy? No, 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 I did not miss a guy. Oh, shoot, they did, did not. They only did the first. Okay, they did not. They did not finish the seventh round. They did not finish the seventh round. Okay, let's see if they have seventh round. Seventh round pick. Yeah, Sadiq's going to be a... I think Sadiq, if Sadiq's an average tackle in this league, that's good enough for me. That is good. Okay, CBS, keep in mind, in my opinion, they are very, very... um biased against us but that's just me i mute this okay round seven so they gave us a c minus for curl um again like i said um i want high sense to see but i'd rather us have growing pains next season show improvements yeah i think that's good um and then watch them to give us a terrible grade with our next pick um so th this is what he said. Greek guard who transformed his body at NC State. Plays with decent power, but very raw with the technical side of the game and battled through many injuries. Okay, I mean, seventh round pick is hit or miss. Like I said, man, it's very, very uh, low, weighted very lowly in my, uh, v yeah, it's very uh, low weight in my opinion. Let's see, they're grading every team in the draft. Cowboys A+, plus, okay. I agree with that. They had a really good draft. Let's see what they give the Redskins. I think it's going to be a B. Um, B plus. Okay, they really didn't say. Okay, they said having no second rounder. So I guess that's why our grade's bad. That's the only ex explanation they gave us for. Um, they gave... 
Um, let's let's see. Let's see. I want to see a total team grade. So grading every. Oh shoot! I spelled that wrong. Grading every team's NFL draft. Yep, New York just got uh, Mr. Irrelevant. What's his name? Um, Georgia linebacker Tay Crowder in the seventh round. Um, so they don't have complete complete team grades. Um, but overall, I think not a bad draft, guys. Not a bad draft at all. Um, I think, yeah. The we address some key needs. Yes, we need help on the tight end spot, which could um which we could do with Thaddeus Moss or Hunter Bryant. I'm really waiting to see um why they fell. Let's see if there's anything um here in the news. Um but yeah, so oh yeah, and we didn't okay, here's some guys. Um Here's some guy. This is this guy graded the Redskins draft. So um, he gave us A plus, B, B plus, A, C, C, B minus, D. Um, yeah, exactly. The the first picks are the most important picks in my opinion. Um, let's go to. I don't think we're gonna trade to O uh, for OJ. Armin, are you giving us a B minus for the total draft? And if you are, are you giving it off of like of where we picked for value or talent in general? Because I think talent in general, I think we got A minus B plus range. What's up, Ross? I think if it's if but if it's not talent, if you're going off value, then maybe it's around a B. But let's see. Here's some players that we could go after that I would like. Um I would like I like Thaddeus Moss, obviously Hunter Bryant. Um Miles Dorn is a safety I like. Jared Pinckney, um, Lamar Jackson. I like AJ Green too as a line or as a cornerback. Um, I'm gonna try to look that up right now. I'm not sure when teams can go after free agents. Um, yeah, their draft is over. JP Finley said, and we did not um, add a tight end. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna look up when. Can teams sign uh, undrafted free agents? So, yeah, not bad, guys. Um, some of the picks are not great. Like, yeah, obviously some of the picks are not great, like the last couple picks. But I'm fine. It gives you depth. Let's see. Uh... Wow, so it's like right away. So it's right away. I'm gonna um I'm gonna keep you guys updated. There's gonna be um if we sign in one, I will make a video. Um let's see if there's any um players that were signed real quick. But if if what's up, Speedy? If we sign Hunter Bryant, I will be so happy. So yeah, there's a bunch of undrafted free agents that we Hey, everyone real quick, if you gave the Redskins below a B plus grade, right? If we sign uh Hunter Hen or not Hunter Henry, Hunter Bryant or Thaddeus Moss and a cornerback in undrafted free agency, what would you give us as a grade? What would you give us as a grade? I would get that up to an A minus, in my opinion. But I'm I'm it's crazy that um uh KJ Hill went in the seventh. Thanks, man. Same. Thank you. Um, your grade right now is a B minus. I got you, Abu. Um, 
What would your grade mark be, though, if we signed a tight end in free agency and and maybe a, maybe a, I don't know, a cornerback? Mark Kipton, remember, remember when you kept on telling me that KJ Hill wouldn't draft, last the fourth round? That was that. I, I told you he would, man. But let me make you mod, um, Abu Moss. Thank you for donating again. I, I appreciate that. Um, okay. Okay, Mark. We'll see, though, guys. I think stay tuned. There's going to be a lot more. Um, we'll see who. Um, okay, so this is what Julie Donaldson said. Why no tight end selected? Redskins plan coming into the draft was always to take the best player available, not get caught up in going for a position of need. I am told they stuck to their plan. Okay, I get that. Um, but um, guys, keep your trust in Ron Rivera and Kyle Smith. Kyle Smith has done this a couple times, and this is his first year with real control, and I really think that um, a lot of these later picks might end up being sleeper picks, man. Um, uh, having a solid special teams guy for 10 years is a good pick in my opinion. So, um, yeah, there's a couple undrafted free agents. I will keep you guys updated. Yep. Lamar Jackson too. I will keep you guys updated for that. That's going to happen right, right away. So in the next hour, in the next hour or so, that's when we're going to find out who gets, uh, who who we sign if we sign anybody again guys thank you guys so much for um uh coming in the stream i appreciate all of you guys that donated armand uh brown um abu uh a couple of infinite thank you guys andre a lot of you guys donated i appreciate it a ton and hey keep, like again trust ron rivera and kyle smith this draft was good um this draft was good Yes, we could have used a tight end, but I think that the first four picks definitely outweigh the last four picks in terms of a grade. I'll keep you guys updated on all these undrafted free agents and uh, stay tuned for a lot more videos in the future. And yeah, give me real quick before I leave. Let me know any of you, uh, any of the uh, video ideas you guys uh, have for me. Any video ideas you guys have for me. But yeah, overall, not mad with this draft. Okay, I'll stay live for a little more. A little more. So, a little more, a little more. We'll see. Hey, and maybe, maybe, maybe Logan Thomas ends up being a stud. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Hey, um, thank you for donating, Abu. And... I got to get you a wrench to infinite. You donate and you're always in here too. So, um, add moderator. Okay. So the Jaguars just signed a safety J.R. Reed. I liked him too. Okay, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for all the donations. Um, uh, Mark Kipton video idea, free agents. We should sign. We have a ton of exactly. I, I might make that. There's still a lot of free agents that I think are going to get signed once June starts, when a lot of players get released, or actually in a couple weeks, but I think a lot of, um, a lot of uh, players are going to get cut on after June 1st. So thank you. Uh, tight ends, Oscar, a lot of tight ends went undrafted. Thaddeus Moss, Jared, uh, Jared Pinckney, who else? Uh, Hunter, uh, Hunter Bryant. And a couple of uh, cornerbacks, A.J. Smith. Yeah, I like uh, Peters at left tackle, Sadiq Charles at left tackle, or Kelvin Beecham. Again, guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys all for the donations. And I will keep you guys updated, okay? Peace.